Welcome to Minor Instance, Episode 8, covering Major Crime, Season 2, Episode 8, The Deep End. So we start off with a media circus about this young swimmer who was uh, shot by his coach. And the guy's like, well, he broke into my house. And find out via a video he made on his computer that the coach was actually molesting him when he was at the school, when he was younger. And then the sub-story was Rusty's friend Chris's mother coming to talk to Sharon. It was one of the subs. There was kind of two sub-stories this time around. It was around. just the whole, the main sub-story was Rusty and Chris and Rusty dealing with what was going on with the case with this the was boy. Hit, yeah, it was hitting a little too close to home for him. We have Chris's mother walk in, and her name is Rebecca Slater. And the first thing that we scream is, oh, it's Aunt Becky, because you played the same character on a television show for how long? I don't like know, a bajillion years. years. They went really far for that name, as you can tell. Why are you so loud? I don't know. <laughs> this is Mom came and talk. Essentially, she was just like, uh, because of the threats, we don't think it's really a good idea for Chris to hang out with Rusty anymore. So Sharon talked to her. And it, it, they made it sound like this was going to be the last of Chris. But we know that it's not. <laughs> we also saw Flynn having a dilemma on whether he was going to go to his daughter's wedding because his daughter wanted him and her stepfather to walk her down the aisle. Awkward. And Flynn knows damn well that nobody there likes him. At the end, Flynn goes in to ask Sharon to ask Sharon if it'd be okay if he goes to his daughter's wedding and it's in like three hours. You know, no rush. Jerry had a bump on, so. We're not gonna get to that yet. You're talking about Yeah, it but right he now. didn't ask her. She said, do you need a buffer? I'll come with you. Because who better than snarky, bitchy Raider to go with somebody everyone hates? And she, he called her Sharon. It's a bit much. No, it's not. Because all episode, what are we hearing? Andy? 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 And what did he call her? Sharon. Thank you, he called her Sharon! Okay, what did we like about this episode? He called her <laughs> Sharon! <laughs> he called her Sharon! Do you see what I'm dealing with here? That... Uh, that is not the thing you like the most yes about it this is. episode. Get serious. He called her Sharon. Okay, pretend that didn't happen. What no, I can't have... pretend that didn't happen. It happened. Oh my god. Okay, what else do we see? We saw Rios flirting back with Sanchez, and he's just kind of like, whatever. Like, Rios was, I found <laughs> Rios less annoying this episode. No. I did. Yeah, I, I agree I, with you. But why did you say no? I don't know. Because you didn't know what I said. <laughs> because he called her Sharon! Jesus. What else did we like? I liked Provenza's uh, snarkiness this episode. Provenza kind of speaks the truth for everybody that's watching. He says what everyone else is he thinking. He thinks what everybody's thinking. Uh, he thinks Flynn's what everyone's thinking. being an thinking. ass about going to a star's wedding. He says what everyone's thinking. Yeah. And he we also... old man. I liked seeing Tao actually do something oh when he tackled God. the guy in the end. It was completely was nice. unnecessary, but totally kinda, worth it. I kind of saw that coming, that the guy was going to go kill him. It's happened a lot of other times in a lot of other shows. Obviously. Uh, the dad is always going to go after a dude that did something to their child. But how he did it was kind of like, oh. It was like, <laughs> Like, no one saw that? No. No one? Uh, no one? No Anyone? One? No. Anyone? Okay. Oh, whatever. It's your show. Go it's your for show. It. I liked how much Amy was in it. I really appreciate a she lot of Amy. I, I love Amy a lot. And I we don't enjoy Amy. We don't see a lot of her. I mean, we do, but not like we should, at least. Uh, but I liked how she was the one that went into the room at the end with the boy. And that's how they finally were able to get the uh, swim coach on a charge because all the other ones were outdated. Yes, statue limitations. All the other ones were outdated. Uh, Beyond the statute of limitations. Yeah. So they couldn't get him on any of them, even mm -hmm. though he, he did like over 10, like a bunch of kids. That is, so that is an actual number. A bunch? A bunch. It is. Anything else Dislikes. you This like? He caught her Sharon! Just kidding. I just had to say that. Or that. No! <laughs> didn't like how, uh, what's her name's parents? 
Chris's um, parents. Chris's parents. Aunt Becky. Aunt Becky was named Aunt Becky. One. I didn't it like that. It was Mom Becky. It was Mama Becky. Uh, that. And I didn't she had like... two boys named Nikki and Alex? Probably. They're probably her older brothers. Yeah. So. <laughs> How they instantly jumped to conclusions. I mean, they knew a little bit about Rusty, but they didn't know enough about Rusty for them to make the assumptions they did. And it was kind of like, oh, well, he's, like, not good enough. It's kind of the feeling I got from it. Yeah. I think they were more worried for her own safety, too. Because when her and Sharon were talking, they were... And they said that Sharon was admirable for taking in this boy. And Sharon was just like, 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 this bitch. Yeah, like... (laughs) And I didn't like how uh, the coach made it sound like the boy was just randomly busting into his house. And it was very obvious he was lying the entire time. And Acting like he didn't know who the boy was. Like he didn't the know boy who was, was like one of the best swimmers on the team. But at he the kept time. saying he wasn't one of the greatest, wasn't one of the greatest, because he needed to get him away from the team. Yeah. Because of what he was doing to him. And then they had all these trophies, and they really didn't even cover that. That's bothered me a little bit. They didn't cover that he was a good swimmer, swimmer and he had all these trophies. Well, they covered, they told the dad, and the dad was like, I always thought my son was a loser. That's when they were telling the dad. She was just. Yeah, but they didn't even talk about the trophies that he had. But they were telling him that he wasn't a, like as bad as the dad thought he was, that he mm-hmm. was actually a good swimmer. She was his own out during that part. I did. There were other more important parts. I didn't like how we didn't see them actually go to the wedding. You were asking for too much. I told you it was going to be like a minute or two scene. I'm okay with that, because you know why? He called her Sharon. He called her Sharon! We didn't see much of... Uh, Sanchez this episode. We saw a little bit, but not... Sanchez. Sanchez, as Sharon calls him. But we didn't see a lot of him this episode. I didn't like how Um, Sharon didn't go and comfort Rusty right away. She just waited until she got home to mention it. Not, you know. She totally baited him, though. (laughs) Did you eat dinners? Twice. She knows how to get him to talk to her. Just... I think I feel like it would have been better if she went after him or something. Because this was to be a really, like, this was actually really, like, affected Rusty watching this video, and I feel like nothing was really... Nothing was done about it. And nothing it wasn't was even said. really talked about. It was more about oh, the whole Chris happened. thing. Yeah. Not all Rusty. Because Sharon hasn't. No. She'll check him for fever and rub his back as he walks by, but cuddles? Nope. <laughs> You're asking for it too much. Predictions. I want to see more with the whole Rusty thing. I want to see more. No, no, no. Sharon and Andy. No, no. Well, Duff did say that Andy needs a love interest. You know they are totally trolling all y'all. I don't care. I don't. All y'all are getting trolled. I don't. He didn't say Sharon would be the love interest. He's just saying he needs a love interest, and I am just saying that that love interest needs to be Sharon. But, but. But she is his superior officer and his but boss. But that would be good Sharon story. Rader would not do that because, like no. she said, I'm a married woman. But that's not what we hear. It's going to come up. Married woman. That's might not be How the case soon. Know? When they all find all those letters. Oh uh, yeah, I think they're going. That's going to come up. That we're going to something's going to happen with that. They're going to be like, dur, 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 dur. let me look in this random cabinet in the. Uh... <laughs> Oh, let wait, me wait, clean wait. out. Somebody needs a desk. Wait a minute, let me clean this out. Oh, look, letters. All dressed to Rusty. Who to noon? <laughs> that was kind of touched on this episode about the letters. Just one letter. But he only said he one letter. He tried to use it to keep Chris away because he only wants to be friends with Chris. Mm-hmm. And Chris wants to be more than friends. Which I don't get at all. Hey, ratings. I give it a nine. I give it another ten. I We've had some nine. really amazing episodes this season, and I am. I feel like they. I, the only reason the I moon. give it a nine is because I feel like they should have dealt more with the whole Rusty being affected by this video thing. I agree. Next week we have <clears throat> episode nine, of Major Crimes, titled "There's No Place Like Home," which is going to have a bunch of people on it. Tim Conway, I'm so excited about. Marion Ross, my home girl. That's her. We home went girl. to elementary school together. They did. They really did. I love her. Uh, catch us tomorrow for The Detective and a Doctor. And catch us next week for minor incidents again. For episode And we nine. only have a few more episodes left before the hiatus, which we are not looking forward to. I really need to try to take a nap tomorrow. You do. Twin jobs. You do. If I have to come there, rock you to sleep, and put you in your bed, and cover you up... While reading a bedtime I'm not story. even. I'm not even laying on my couch tomorrow when I get home from work. I'm going right to my bed and going back to sleep. Proud of you.
TV Guide, don't ever listen to TV Guide. They are very... They are anti Do not major like major crimes whatsoever. It so, is a major crime that they do not like major crimes. <laughs> I said it. Really? Yes. But if you... Seriously. Don't take too much stock in anything major... Or anything uh, TV Guide says. Because they've always been very anti-major crimes. Oh, a lot of uh, Prevenza being grandfatherly. I appreciate Provenza a lot. I love Provenza. I, I, like, um, I do have a crush on him. girls over him. I do. It's terrible. Rebecca Bradley, right? Rebecca, Rebecca Slater. Rebecca Slater. I'm sorry. I don't know who Rebecca Bradley is. I'm, I'm somebody with the high school, school with. with. He called her Sharon. Look at that. He called her Sharon. He called her Sharon. All right. uh, we saw... Shit, what was I going to say? He called her Sharon! Oh. <laughs> um, I can't think of the word. It, has they, the, it was, um... You know what I'm talking about. Yes. What's it yes. called? Mm. We only watched a thousand crime shows. We, you know. What is it called? The tough... It's right there. None of it, it's, it's right here. It's right there. It's right here. I don't know. We'll think of it. When she thinks of it, we'll let you know. And then I'll just scream it because, and then I'll pretend I thought of it. Statute of limitations, I can't yes. think of it. Jesus Christ. It happened. I know it happened. It was real, like Santa Claus. Santa Claus isn't real. <laughs> don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. <laughs>